This is Mama Thea of Asli Pure, and when I want to hear the story from the lion and the lioness, I listen to Lion Voice with Ross Kwasi Bonsu. Well, front was a son was born and a child was given. I want to ask you a question. Have you gotten your book? I listen to this Ethiopia Volume 1, The Rise of the Peace Warrior King. I've read the book in its entirety, and I must say it's very inspirational, very informative, and very, very historical, right? Then you call him Christopher when he was born, rain fall from the sky. Then you call him Christopher when he was grown in near plains, he fly. They call him. List of a ride, a young break the chain, weep not, don't cry. Them call him. List of a ride, read your revelation, chapter 5, verse 5. Then, born near the city of Harar, the inspiration for Bob Marley's guitar. People crowd him like some big superstar, it no matter if for England. I see two other books over there, looking at I. <laughs> And I'm wondering where you get time to write all of yes. that book. This one is a um, okay. this one is an exploration of another book cover for the same girl. Okay, okay. So it's the same book. Um, it's this one here that is forthcoming. I was hoping to release it by Battle of Ottawa, but um, it, it'll be another couple of, of strong before it comes out. But this was a paper that I wrote a few years ago, um, charting the matriarchal shift in the Rastafari movement. Mm. Um, and then I added now that I've made it more into a uh, monologue of sorts or a, lar a you know, larger document, um, reclaiming a divine heritage. Michael Barnett or Dr. Michael Barnett, um, the sociologist at Yui Mona is who encouraged I to turn this work into a um, text. Um, matriarchal shifting is something that I identified um, not just within the Rastafari movement but globally and um, the definition that I coined for it back in 2019 is the existence of a matriarchal shift within the Rastafari movement is not surreptitious paradoxically its present is evident presence is evident both regionally and universally and consequently is poised to transform the fundamental tenets of this revolutionary movement. Um, matriarchal shifting, I will tell the eyes, is, um, let me see here. And, and this is important, because on my channel, I'm very big on the Rastafari man standard, because I feel like the Rastafari man, them get too loosey-goosey. You know we need to step up to provide that leadership but yet but the eye is also saying that the sister in them now are yes. going through a shift so i want to okay get the, the that so, perspective. Um, so the perspective for matriarchal shifting is the rastafari woman is transformed her new I consciousness her new consciousness which undoubtedly shares in a universal awareness is fundamentally overlooked by the keenest of viewers. This contemporary positioning is void of title in most instances, yet by default, her trajectory is being experienced by women globally. Humanity is remembering the ancient tradition of honor thy mother, and she too is honoring herself. So this somewhat oxymoronically glaring, nonetheless subtle observation is what I've dubbed the matriarchal shift. It summarizes a noted alteration in gender roles as presented within contemporary societal norms when juxtaposed with ancient Kushite kinship. So it really, um, it just really looks at what society says women are in contemporary terms mm -hmm. and it's not specifically re this 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 is this uh this book documents the journey of the rastafari woman and her shifting but there's a global shift in mm -hmm. i mean in the united states there's kamala harris mm -hmm. as, a, as a vp um so that's that's a that's a sign of shifting um, shifting began many, many, many moons ago. Empress Tai Tu, 
is an example of shifting. But I look at shifting now um, as it's happening so globally and so fast and so broad. We, we're just seeing um, women, you know, elevating and rising in their identity in all of these different roles. roles. And it, it can't even really be stayed. It's like the earth is propelling her to that ancient glory. So I juxtapose that with ancient Kushite kinship. Okay, yes. so go a little bit deeper because I don't mm -hmm. know much about ancient Kushite kinship. Okay. What is, okay. How does that relate to women taking a more prominent place in the workforce? I'm assuming the guy is talking about uh, women working more out um, there. Women working out there, um, also just the way that women um, within the Rastafari movement, mm -hmm. um, I and I look at the identity of Empress Men in Aswa. Mm -hmm. And I know that one say, well, how is that possible? Mm -hmm. Well, it's possible when I and I go forward to Kush and think of the goddesses and the queens and the Kandakis, mm -hmm. um, the women that were risen to divine status who, who, who at one point were mere, were mere women. Mm -hmm. um, Rastafari, you know, within I and I liberty, and I give Isis to Katamawi Haile Selassie the first. And I know of the many different mansions within the Liberty. Some who says it's the return Messiah. Um, it's Christ, you know, that was crucified. And on the third day, he rose again and ascended into heaven. And this is him that has come forward in another dispensation in Katamawi Haile Selassie the first. And he sealed up the throne of David. Um, Others say there's none before, none after. Mm -hmm. This is the Almighty um, from such time. Mm -hmm. It's the same Iron coming through all the different dispensations. The one Karamawi Haile Selassie the first. I and I say, if there is a job, and this is what I and I say within Rastafari, I and I hail a living job. Mm -hmm. Those of I and I that do. Um, honor Katamawi in that way, hail a living job that walked the earth, mm -hmm. walk around in this time in man, in flesh, mm -hmm. God in flesh, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, if there's that job, and this is divinity, man in flesh, there's that balance that sits next to him at coronation. Mm -hmm. And I look at the history of um, Empress Wazero Men in Asfa and trace it not just to Muhammad, but trace it forward through her Oromo line. Oromo is the same line as Kushite. Mm -hmm. And I look at the revelation of their union, the three prior marriages, and His Majesty sending not three uh, armed men, not 30 armed men, not 300 armed men, but 3,000 to bring her forward safely. I and I look at how His Majesty changed. Sika Pin, just explain that history there with the 3,000. Yes. People are like, what were you waiting for? <laughs> True. Right. And, I, and I, will, um, I will give the information so when this airs, yes. so that it can be documented officially. But I have read mm -hmm. that. Um, the union was made at some point, they said probably at the home of Ligia yes, Su, yes. which would have been her uncle, oh, the yes. son of Nikas, um, Mikael. Yes. Um, um, and once that union was made and it was agreed upon by His Majesty and Empress Menin that they would be joined, mm -hmm. um, Leo Sagad, I believe, Ras Leo Sagad may have been the third husband at that time, the separation happened. And His Majesty sent 3,000 of his soldiers or the army or whoever to bring her forward, so to meet him in Hara. Flex his muscle a little bit. Flex his muscle, bring her forward safe. Mm -hmm. Bring her forward safe. I listen to the first of the Almighty, and this is the Charles Match Quasi. Well, the global groundation, this one is for the black family. Well, 
Since we talking about the queens then Would I have to talk about Empress men then? Well then, man a big up all him girlfriend Not nothing about Empress men then Well then, go on chant until the world end Would I have to talk about Empress men then? Well then, all the girls we defend Half it talk about Empress men then Well then, married in 1911 With a love that come from heaven Well then, you can tell her like your brethren she raised high little I see high children ah, Then, yeah. and she never deviate Never complain when the king a work late no, no. Always a food up on the youth template Who was a joy if you see a smile on her face oh. So full of grace as she be batik and hate Well then, all the people rejoice yeah. Every spending at the children's choice oh, Well then, yeah. since you talking about the queens then What the half is about them press men then Well then Man a big up all him girlfriend Not nothing about them press men then Well then, if we chant until the world end Would I have to talk about them press men then Well then, all the girls we defend Have it talk about them press men then Well then, when the Jaya so daddy come With a dirty plan to come destroy the family One come separate the king from the queen oh. With the atom and him come set up a dirty scheme yeah. King Rastafari ride and come in oh. And destroy those boys We try intervene mm. Impress men then so pure and clean mm. And this last year I mean no say him the supreme Tell Babylon say ya dream them a dream We yeah. come to burn down them romance scheme oh. Well then since you talking about the queens then Half it about them press men then Well then, could I chant until the world end Half it about them press men then Well then, I'm gonna be go pal him girlfriend That's nothing about them press men then Well then, all the girls we defend Half it about them press men then Well then, Queen Mother for the earth Remember she gave I little lassie youth birth World War II she was so hard at work Heal all the soldiers when they get hurt oh, yeah, So full of grace she dressed up in a long skirt Use her money if she build school and church Just oh, to smile on the face that make me know what life's worth oh, Well then, all the people rejoice And press men in the children's, children's choice, choice. See that.